Hello YouTube, it is I, Banded Wendy. How are you? I'm making a video on a Monday. How about that? Um, I'm going to limit this to an update on my health for now. Um, thank you to those of you who have personally reached out to me. I appreciate it. My original intention was to make a video last week um, on Thursday to update you on the results of my CT scan my ultrasound and my blood work but ooh, I got busy uh, and I did not and then I posted the video last night with my weekly update and told y'all about it and now you're like what's going on so thank you uh, okay so last week I told you I saw my surgeon on Wednesday uh, he ordered CT scan, CT scan ultrasound and had blood work done to run labs and he gave me a prescription for Carafate which I take twice a day for two weeks, and for Prevacid, um, which I take twice a day for two weeks. And then on Thursday, I oh, and he also, by my request, I got a slight defill from 5.55 cc's to 5.3 cc's, so just a 0.25 out, just to see if that changed anything. So my last video was me on my way to the CT scan and the ultrasound. Did that on Thursday. Um, nothing wrong with my gallbladder. Nothing wrong with my kidneys. Nothing wrong with my liver, my pancreas. Uh, the order in my a order in my stomach is fine. My spleen is fine. All good, right? The things that we were looking for. What was discovered was that I have an ovarian cyst. Um, and it looks like it may have ruptured, but I don't even know if that's the right language they used. It's some terminology that I can't even repeat out of my mouth. But it wasn't like race to the ER kind of thing. It was follow up with your gynecologist. Now, if you've been following my journey, um, you know that I have had for about one year issues with my tightness of my lap band during my menstrual cycle uh, and I've been working with my gynecologist even had my bariatric surgeon and my gynecologist talking at one point right so I actually have been seeing my gynecologist every three months for the last year and happen to have a pre-planned and scheduled appointment with him this Friday I'll tell you what, when they're doing the ultrasound, they did the internal one with the big stick, and then did the, the external one. Uh, you see one ovary, it looks normal, you know, for whatever an ovary is supposed to look like. And then you swing over to the other one, and it's like, Bleh! you know, they've been measuring really large. Um, I've been resisting birth control. I've taken birth control in my life previously. It turns me into a monster. It makes me feel horrible. All the side effects that are possible, I get and I don't like them. So I've been really like, ah, ah, ah. So I have definitely an ovarian cyst that's going to need some type of action around it. So that is causing the uh, lower abdominal pain right here that's very constant and believed to be causing when I do have any issues uh, in my stomach area this seems to be where the majority of the pain is and then also back here uh, so I mean, like right now it's just constant right okay so then the other thing that was determined during both the ultrasound and the CT scan is that I'm full of poop yep I said it poop hmm now I'll tell you I'm pretty regular right I do eat fruit and vegetables on a daily basis. Not a lot of them, but I do have them. Spinach, banana, and blueberries in my shake every day. And before I was doing shakes, uh, fruit in my yogurt, right? Um, and I usually have lettuce a couple of times a day. Not real good lettuce, but a couple of t at least a couple of times a week, I should say. Not a day, but. Uh, and I take fiber supplements. And my body effects has eight grams of fiber in it. And you can be guaranteed when I work out, I end up going poop, right? And I work out every damn day or pretty close to it. So I didn't think I had an issue with poop, right? Okay, folks. 
So I'm regular. I'm a regular pooper. The poop is... Goes on for days. Like, seriously? I have a poop issue. I need to poop. So, uh, that may be what's causing the pain back here. Because that's associated with your colon. Right? And this bloating feeling that I have. The pain in my abdomen. I don't know anymore if it's the cyst or the fact that I have to poop. So, um... I'm now taking these, something new that I've added, probiotic for digestive help. I'm also drinking a tea. Uh, I'll try to put picture in here. I don't know. Ooh. Um, to help me go to the bathroom. Uh, and I'm drinking aloe gel with juice to help me go to the bathroom. And my mom had me buy magnesium citrate. I haven't taken it yet because she said when I do take it, I need to stay close to home into the bathroom. And I just, I'm afraid of that. And I heard from a fellow weight loss surgery peep that they took it once and they'll never take it again. But I hear it works. So I have been going more, um, but I'm working on Project Poot is, is basically what I'm calling it. Um, gas is, has subsided. Excessive burping has subsided, uh, subsided since I have been going to the bathroom. I started the project on Thursday. Um, basically my labs came back, my blood work, perfect. So three years, seven months, post-op, lap band, you know, I got my vitamins here. I take them every day. I've made multiple videos here and on Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works about my vitamins. 100% perfect, my blood work, right? Thank you. Very good. Um, so basically the, the other two things that I... <laughs> suggested and asked my surgeon about is one, a fluoroscopy and two, an uh, upper endo and an upper endoscopy, which I had done about a year ago and it was perfect, right? Uh, it's been about a year and a half, maybe two years since I had a fluoroscopy. He does not think I need that. Um, he said I needed to wait at least seven to 10 days so that the um, color contrast uh, dye that was injected into me for the CT scan would pass out of my system and he's like if you want it we'll do it um, I'm feeling so much better I'm gonna see the gyno on Friday I'm seeing my bariatric surgeon this week for a follow-up on Wednesday I'm okay with this fill level really at 5.3 it's fine by me um, so I'm not sweating getting a fluoro or the need for an upper endoscopy because my surgeon will do it if I want it. Um, the upper endoscopy is very exp expensive, even with insurance. Um, so I don't know. Uh, but he doesn't think there's anything to do with my lap band. Um, so that's what I know for now. I'll keep you updated. I'll let you know what happens when I go on Wednesday and um, to the bariatric guy. And then on Friday when I see my uh, gynecologist about the ovarian cyst, which is really, I think, what's causing the most pain right now. I ran through that shit <laughs> last Sunday. I thought I was dying, but I was still running, you know? So, I don't know. Um, I don't want them to say they need to take my ovary out, though, you know? Mm. So anyway, anybody have experience with ovarian cyst? Let me know. Anybody have experience with Project Poop backup? Let me know. Uh, and again, thank you so much. I love you all. I'm okay. Take care. Bye.